Have you ever put off something you knew you were supposed to do, but just said later, like the taxes? That's why April 15th, every single post office in America is crowded with lines of people. That's why during the pandemic, we didn't have enough toilet paper because people were putting it off and off and off. And before you knew it, you were in deep trouble. So in this particular video, I'm going to talk about why we procrastinate and how to start to do stuff now. Why we procrastinate is really just human. To tell you the truth, I think it's something we're just born with. Theodore Roosevelt said, in a moment of decision, the best thing that you can do is to do the right thing. The next best thing is to do the wrong thing. And the worst thing of all is to do nothing at all. And how many times have we actually paid the price for procrastination? How many times did we not apply for that job or uh, how many times did we not apply for that loan? How many times did we not make a move or start a business that should have, would have, and could have? Most people are shooting on themselves all the time. And we know we should do it, but why do we do this? So there's a thing called resistance, and it's there for your protection. See, Human beings are designed to anytime there's something difficult to do that we even know is going to be beneficial to us, we resist because we don't want to make the first move. So it's a protection mechanism that's in us for a long time. And the greater this particular activity is going to reward you, the greater the resistance. For example, you know that you know you have heart disease in your family and you know you're supposed to work out and you know the benefits are gonna be tremendous, but you put off working out and the years go by and all of a sudden you have high blood pressure, now you have coronary heart disease, now you have diabetes or something else that runs in your family and I'm not saying that you can run from it, but you could have taken steps and see, some things take a long time to see the effects of procrastination. Some things are almost immediate, like your taxes are not paying your bills. Now all of a sudden you see your car being towed away and you knew you had to pay the bills and you did it. So procrastination sometimes is very, you know, slight, it may not affect you, but it may affect you a long time later, or it might not cause a lot of pain. But even though we know we have to do it, that resistance is there. So figuring out why you're resisting and then overcoming that. The number one thing is comfort priority. Let me explain that. You're sitting down, munching on popcorn, watching Netflix, and you know you should go out and either water the garden or you know wash the car or do some type of chores or even get up because you, you think it's National Quad Day and you wanna build your quads, but you know you're gonna put it off. You can't go to the gym because your mindset tells you, I'm comfortable right now. So I don't wanna go ahead and do squats or I don't wanna go ahead and mow the lawn. I'm, I, I'm comfortable. And so your brain is giving you comfort priority and guess what? Whatever activity you're doing that you like to do is stopping you from doing the other one the natural thing to do is start to rationalize and go, you know what, I can always work out on my quads later, or I can always do this later. And so you start to self-rationalize your behavior and your comfort priority that you're giving right now. And the last thing and the last reason why we choose to procrastinate is perfection. Everything's not quite right, so I couldn't possibly go and apply for this job. Everything's not quite right, so I couldn't possibly go out and start this business. Everything's not quite right. I mean, come on, my headband doesn't match my shoelaces so I can possibly go to the gym. I need to be coordinated. I mean, think about how silly that is, but a lot of people are tied down with procrastination because of perfection. So comfort priority, rationalizing, and perfection keeps us from growing and doing things that we don't want to do. I'm going to super simplify this and then you can leave the kind of comments you want to or if things are working for you other than this. Nike says, just do it. And what I want you to do right now is go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and give me a like or a thumbs up or tell me that, you know what? I don't have any issues with procrastination. I've never procrastinated in my life. I'm all about willpower. I'm interested in hearing your viewpoint. but. 
Going back, Nike says just do it. And I'm saying just start. You have to start. And incremental small changes in not only your behavior, but your task will help you greatly. For example, I had this thing where, you know, everything had to be right for me to work out. And even though it wasn't perfect, I just start to walk a little bit. I want to take steps to eat better. I cut off, you know, one beverage. I want to stop smoking instead of smoking two pot. Okay, I don't smoke pot, by the way. You leave that one in, don't edit that one out. I like it. Um, instead of smoking two packs a day, just cut off one single cigarette less. Make small little changes because in theory, when we look to do and accomplish great things, we look at doing the most that we could do. Set it back to a small step and take one step forward and see how your life starts to change. And so instead of just do it, just start it with small little steps. And that will greatly increase the amount of productivity in your life and you'll start to see less and less procrastination. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. You can also connect with me on social media for more content. Your support is greatly appreciated. Until next time.